A conversion graph is a tool that we use to convert between different units. All graphs you come across will be straight line graphs with one unit on the x-axis and one on the y-axis. You need to know how to construct these graphs and use them. So having a look at this graph, you can see it converts between litres and fluid ounces. So it's effectively converting between volume of fluid. So it could be water, it could be oil or something like that. It's just converting the volume. So for example, if we wanted to convert two and a half litres into fluid ounces, all we would need to do is find two and a half litres on the y-axis in this case. So that's here. Go across to where that meets the, the line and then just straight down to where it meets the x-axis. Now you'll notice it's not on one of our major lines. It doesn't fall directly on 80 or 100 or anything like that. But it's two minor lines, the smaller squares, past 80. So if I can figure out what the minor lines are worth, then it's relatively straightforward. Well, you'll notice between 0 and 20, there's five squares. So 20 divided by 5, each little square is worth 4. So if it's two little squares past 80, two minor squares past 80, then this must be 88 fluid ounces. We can also convert the other way. So for example, if we wanted to convert 24 fluid ounces into litres, all we would need to do is find 24. So recall that each minor square is worth 4 in this case. So that's going to be here, 1 minus square past 20. So we go up to where that meets the graph. And then we go across to where that meets the y-axis. And then we just need to read it off. So we need to figure out what a minor square is worth on the y-axis. Well, between 0 and 1, again, there are 5 squares. 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2. So each minor square is worth 0 0.2. And this is halfway between the third and the fourth minor square. So it's going to be 0 0.6. And then it's halfway between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. So let's say it's 0 0.7 litres. You can, of course, use this for any value you like, even if it doesn't actually fit on the graph. So, for example, if we wanted to find if we wanted to find what 12 litres was in fluid ounces, well, 12 doesn't fit on the y-axis, but what we could do is find what 4 litres is, and then 12 divided by 4 is 3, so we just times whatever number that is in fluid ounces by 3. So you can extrapolate it out to find different values as well. Why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can enter a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that explains all the steps for the problem.